So, this is it. It's my first optical drive I'm using at home for about five years. And why I will show you now. So, I bought this camera, uh, this which I am using right now, um, for better YouTube quality. And um, this is, let me say, it's um, Panasonic um, HCV727. And uh, yeah, this uh, camcorder, you can see it right there. It has uh, in included uh, the drivers and the software on uh, on this on two CDs. And yeah, I uh, always um, just putting the CDs away. Okay, manuals. I I think I don't need them, but anyway, I will copy that right now to my hard drive so, okay um, yeah you can download the soft software here that's uh, uh, delivered with the camcorder you can download it from the website this is I, I haven't seen this uh, before every part wherever I, uh, I bought something China or what, whatever or Taiwan, you could find it uh, somewhere online to download, but uh, this uh, I couldn't find that. Uh, you could, you could just uh, download the uh, the manual, I guess, yeah, from Panasonic. Um, so I, since I don't have on my 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 computer or my laptops or what whatever I have uh, around here, since I uh, didn't have a optical drive, um, I had to dig. Um, in the basement um, for this old uh, yeah uh, computer which I didn't use for about eight years right now and it really stinks old <laughs> um, so uh, I just had uh, I didn't have a DVD uh, um, writer uh, then so this was really too expensive uh, at this moment so I just had a, a simple CD uh, writer and a DVD ROM uh, so I just took this DVD ROM from this um, and uh, I wanted to put it just in my uh, new computer uh, just to have an optical uh, drive whenever I need one and um, yeah this wasn't possible since um, this computer d doesn't have uh, EDA uh, port uh, to connect it with. So um, I just digged in my um, old uh, equipment parts. So I had this external uh, hard drive, USB hard drive case, uh, which uh, has uh, IDE inside of it. Um, so I could connect this to uh, yeah this um, uh, hard drive case but I didn't have, I couldn't find uh, the power supply which has uh, this uh, odd uh, pins um, and uh, yeah as I guessed it was uh, uh, 5 and 12 volts which are uh, typically um, inside of a, a regular computer so I just used this uh, Y cable here to uh, connect uh, external power from from somewhere else uh, directly with this uh, um, typical computer connector um, to the drive and um, so uh, the power will also go uh, if I don't know if this board uh, takes the power from the USB or uh, from uh, the 5 volts are uh, coming in so but uh, since this uh, this is uh, connected also to the board um, it doesn't matter which way it flows, so um, it was sufficient just to connect uh, this one and I didn't have to power um, the, the board, um, the controller here um, with uh, extra stuff. So this worked, but um, first of all I planned, okay, 
since I don't have this power supply I will just uh, use the power supply from this old case so maybe I can just play ar around with it uh, it's an 80x uh, um, uh, power supply with um, what is also nice you have minus 12 and plus 12 on ATX connectors so you can just uh, also um, do fancy stuff like uh, 24 volts uh, uh, between them and um, yeah do some regulated uh, power supply um, and so on really fancy su stuff so um, I um, thought okay I, I will just take this out and um, short the power on connector which is uh, gray in this case um, you have just to, to connect this to ground and then uh, usually if there is some load uh, this power supply turns on um, the fan uh, will will then start and uh, uh, the connectors here the molex connectors will be uh, powered so uh, I tried this but it didn't turn on uh, I have just the standby 5, vol uh, five volts on here so um, yeah I was asking wh why, why uh, is, is it broken or uh, whatever so yeah, I opened it, uh, I don't have any uh, footage uh, from this but uh, inside it is really nasty, I will show it maybe uh, someday to you but um, this power supply is really really nasty, it's a completely true hole uh, soldered, uh, it's, it's botched together and uh, yeah with uh, cheap crap uh, um, caps and uh, one of the caps is broken so um, I didn't any bother to, to, to repair this I uh, maybe will harvest uh, some parts uh, from this power supply and uh, the nice cables and connectors you can always use use them they are more worth than uh, a new one <laughs> I guess and uh, so um, yeah I will harvest some parts uh, from this maybe the fan or, or whatsoever and um, so I had to go with some, something else so I took uh, this puppy out this is my uh, I guess five year old computer uh, which um, yeah broke uh, someday uh, what was broken um, I can't really say for sure um, what I know is that it's running always on full uh, full coolant so uh, the fans are full speed all the time and uh, yeah um, by this uh, time when I used it five years ago I uh, wasn't able to check it uh, uh, hardware side what, what it could be uh, it's not um, the, the fans are um, maybe the sensors are some broken or what whatever I wasn't able by this time uh, to um, bought something together to manually control with, with a uh, uh, manual pot um, the vents um, and um, so I just thought okay I buy a laptop right now or uh, time for a new computer but this was really expensive by, by this time I, I put this together uh, was the uh, best part and uh, win Windows uh, Vista at this time um, but yeah it uh, didn't uh, work for a long time two years and uh, I had to um, put a new one together um, so uh, I had this uh, standing there around and um, I thought okay at least the power su supply is working since I don't have graphics card I, I wasn't able to find one I tried this but um, this are uh, AGP and uh, ESA connectors and so I don't have a PCI Express card uh, which I could put uh, in here I had uh, um, this was ah uh, this huge huge graphics card which it even didn't fit here because um, they messed up this design this board design these caps are too high you can put in a full length uh, card in here since and uh, it's then sits on um, the case uh, sits on the caps here and it was uh, somehow uh, yeah um, not somehow inside of this connector and wor it, it worked but um, yeah uh, it, it wasn't uh, right yeah um, so uh, the power supply still works and so I was able to connect finally connect this external optical drive uh, 
to um, yeah this power and uh, copy the software of this uh, um, yeah of this camera. Whew, this was long two hours uh, of uh, yeah digging in the basement and putting stuff together. Uh, Panasonic, uh, shame on you. Uh, please put the software uh, to download it uh, from your website. Uh, this is optical drives are really out. You could also put a one gig SD card. Uh, uh, this is uh, really cheap right now. Put it in your camera with the software on. You can just uh, use it as uh, your drive, USB drive as well so everyone can use it but um, yeah please no more CDs <laughs>